What's going on everyone? Welcome back to FM Base. I am Gormy, and today we're going to be going over the top 5 433 tactics that are over on FM Base that you guys are able to download and use for FM22. If you guys do happen to enjoy today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribing is 100% free. There will be a link down below in the description to our website where you guys are able to to download these tactics from. We'll be going over the CZY433, the Kaka Can't Dance 433, the Heisenberg 433, Jurgen Klopp's 433, and the Shaolin 433. I have them ranked from five to one based on the test results within this test, but I've gone ahead, tested them for all you, and we're gonna get into it and see how all of them did. So for the first tactic, we've got the CZY433, finished and fifth out of all of the tested tactics. It starts with a false nine on support up top with take more risks, hold up ball, shoot less often, move into channels, tackle harder, and mark tighter. For those of you that are on Xbox, you will have to copy this over, take a screenshot, pause the video if need be because there is no downloadable way to do it yet with Xbox. Hopefully they do implement that in the future. I think it would be very, very good. Uh, but moving on from the false nine, we've got a Trek Wartista on the left side on attack. Would we'll pass it shorter, take more risks, cross left often, hold up ball, shoot less often, sit narrower, tackle harder, and mark tighter. With the winger on attack on the right side, we have take more risks, cross less often, hold up ball, shoot less often, sit narrower, tackle harder, and mark tighter. The advanced playmaker on attack in the midfield has cross more often, shoot more often, run from position, tackle harder, and mark tighter. The Metzala on attack, also in the midfield, has take more risks, cross more often, dribble more, run from position, tackle harder, and mark tighter. The defense midfielder on support has take more risks, dribble more, shoot less often, get further forward, tackle harder, and mark tighter. The inverted wingbacks on attack on either side both have pass it shorter, take more risks, cross less often, cross from byline, dribble less, cut inside with ball, get further forward, tackle harder, and mark tighter. And the ball playing defenders on defend have dribble more, shoot less often, hold position, tackle harder, and mark tighter. The sweeper keeper on attack actually has instructions. It is pass it shorter, take more risks, and tackle harder. So it is an aggressive style of football. It's a very good style of football. It did finish in fifth, although currently on FM base, it is ranked as the number one 433, I believe. It is a very, very solid tactic, but the other tactics definitely, definitely blew me away with how they performed. Now, mentality wise, it is played with a positive mentality. If the team you're playing against is far superior than yours, go balanced, be safer. Uh, but if they are a lesser opponent, definitely feel free to go attacking and you can get away with it. When in possession of the ball, they play fairly wide, work the ball into the box with low crosses, shorter passing directness, and extremely high tempo. When in transition, counter press, counter distribute quickly, and take short kicks. And then once out of possession, use the offside trap. Much higher line of engagement with a standard defensive line. Much more often trigger press, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and get stuck in. I would suggest if you guys are taking a lot of cards, take a get stuck in off, put on stay on feet, or take it off altogether and you guys will be fine as well. Within the league competitions, we've got Dortmund, Bayer Leverkusen, and Union Berlin who we tested with. And Dortmund are the only one that won a trophy. They won the DFB Pokal. They were runners-up in the German Super Cup, got knocked out in the quarterfinal of the Champions League by Liverpool. They finished in second in the league next to Bayern Munich. Gee, imagine that. Bayern Leverkusen finished in a Champions League spot as well, finishing in fourth. And Union Berlin got Europa League football, which is an upgrade over what they were supposed to qualify for with the Conference League, and they fell short, didn't make it to the group stages. But Bayer Leverkusen did uh, make it past group stages, got knocked out to AC Milan, though, in the knockout rounds of the Europa League. So, coming in at fourth, we have got the 4-3-3 Kaká Can't Dance that we tested in La Liga. All three teams that we tested with did pretty solid. No one won the league, though. Uh, now, the complete forwards on support in this tactic 
act as higher pressing wingers, in my opinion. It is a very attacking style of football. It's a very good style of football. You definitely want to make sure that you have the right players for the system, though, to really pull it off to its max potential. Starting things off up top, we've got an advanced forward on attack with nothing added to the instructions. We have a complete forward on support on the left side with take more risks, dribble more, shoot less often, stay wider, and tackle harder. The complete forward on support on the right side is take more risks, dribble more, shoot less often, stay wider, and tackle harder. The Mazzala on attack on the right side of the midfield has pass it shorter and dribble more added. The central midfielder on attack to the left of it has pass it shorter, take more risks, dribble more, run wide with ball, get further forward, tackle harder, and mark tighter. The ball winning midfielder on defend has tackle harder and mark tighter. The wing back on attack on the left has take more risks, shoot less often, tackle harder. The wing back on the right on attack also has the same instructions of take more risks, shoot less often, and tackle harder. You have a ball point defender on defend with pass it shorter and dribble less, then a central defender on defend with pass it shorter and take fewer risks. Then you have a sweep keeper on support with no added instructions. It is played with an attacking mentality. You can go positive or balanced if need be. Uh, never really go defensive. You invite more pressure, so lowest I would go is balanced. When you are in possession, it is played fairly wide. Underlap on the left and the right and play out from the defense while working the ball into the box using low crosses. Passing directness is shorter, higher tempo, and run at defense. In transition, counter press, counter, distribute the fullbacks, and take short kicks. And once out of possession, use the offside trap. You have much more often trigger press, aka much more often pressing intensity. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Get stuck in higher line of engagement and a higher defensive line. And once again, Wit gets stuck in. If you guys are conceding more cards, feel free to take it off or switch it to stay on feet. Now, here we are at the competition screen. Real Sociedad, Barcelona, and Athletic Bilbao are the clubs that we tested with. Real Sociedad finishing the highest in the league out of everyone. Barcelona going the furthest in the Champions League or Continental Cups. But Athletic Bilbao going the deepest in the Spanish Domestic Cups. Uh, now, Real Sociedad finished second in the league on 84 points. Valencia had an unbelievable season. You can definitely tell that Gary Neville is not their manager there. Barcelona finished in third. They got knocked out in the quarterfinal of the Champions League, the Man U, but got knocked out early in the Spanish Cup and got knocked out by Real Madrid in the Spanish Super Cup. Athletic Bilbao, however... They were not in the Champions League or Europa League, but they were runners up in the Spanish Cup and then got knocked out by Atletico Madrid in the Spanish Super Cup. Real Sociedad got knocked out in the first round of the Europa League um, knockout rounds. Now, the teams here in the Liga definitely, definitely did perform well. A club like Atletico Bilbao, who has never been relegated before, uh, getting to a Spanish Cup final with this tactic, that's very, very nice to see. In my opinion, they overachieved with uh, what they were up against in the league. I mean, playing against the likes of Barcelona, Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Sevilla, uh, Villarreal now. I mean, it, it's definitely not an easy league at this point in time in reality, and I think that Athletic Bilbao did very, very well with this test, with this tactic. So I would definitely suggest giving this tactic a go if you have a... Uh, upper to mid echelon type team, like one of those teams that are on the brink of breaking into the top six, uh, but need that little bit extra boost. I, I think that that is a perfect tactic to use with those type of clubs. Next up, coming in third, we have got the Heisenberg 4-3-3. And the Heisenberg 4-3-3 really, really impressed me. I really, really like the results that we got with it. It starts off with an advanced forward on attack up top. Would we'll take more risks, dribble more, shoot less often, tackle harder. Two wingers on support on either side would take more risks, cross from byline, shoot less often, get further forward, and mark tighter. Two central midfielders on attack would take more risks, dribble more, shoot less often, move into channels, tackle harder, and mark tighter. You got a roaming playmaker on support, which I think is becoming a very underrated role within tactics nowadays, as dribble more, shoot less often, move into channels, tackle harder. The inverted wingbacks on attack both have take more risks, dribble more, shoot less often, get further forward, and tackle harder. 
The ball playing defenders on defend have dribble more, shoot less often, stay wider, tackle harder. Sweep keeper on support is left as is. It is played with a positive mentality. Once again, you can go balanced or attacking depending on who you guys are playing against. When in possession, you play fairly wide, play out from the fence, work the ball into the box using low crosses, slightly shorter passing directness, extremely high tempo. When in transition, counter press, counter, and roll the ball out. Out of possession, use offside trap, much more often trigger press, prevent short goal te- short goalkeeper distribution. There we go, I can English. Much higher line of engagement in a standard defensive line. So here we are in the Serie A testing with Milan, Atalanta, and Sassuolo with the Heisenberg tactic. And this is where we get our first major trophies, and it's a double by AC Milan. AC Milan won the league on 95 points, and they won the Europa League. They had a very tough group in the Champions League with Liverpool, Bayern Munich, Milan, and RB Salzburg, and they won the Europa League, so they did very, very well uh, within that competition. Atalanta getting a Champions League spot, once again, finishing on 82 points, equal with Lazio, but Lazio finishing higher due to goal differential, and Atalanta finished above Inter, Napoli, Juventus, and Roma, and then Sassuolo finished in eighth, just missing out. Uh, they all, all the teams performed very, very well. I want to take a look real quick at how many goals were scored within the league from all three of these teams. Now, as you guys can see, this tactic is able to bang in the goals, especially with a team like AC Milan banging in 95 goals, but it is more of a total team play type tactic. So if you guys are looking for a total team play tactic that can bang in the goals once you have the perfect system going with your players and it is total football, a total team, I definitely suggest giving the Heisenberg tactic a go. All right, so here we are at number two now. With the Jurgen Norbert Klopp 4-3-3 Liverpool style tactic. It is a very, very good tactic. I have tested this previously here on FM Base. There will be a card up top for you guys to check out this video at very, very solid tactic, very attacking tactic. Blows the opposition out of the water. And as you guys can see, we did test with Liverpool here. But getting things started tactic wise, we've got an advanced forward on attack up top. Would take more risks, dribble more, and shoot less often. The inside forwards on attack on either side of shoot less often and sit narrower. The Mazzala on attack as dribble more, shoot less often. Box to box midfielder on support has take more risks, dribble more, shoot less often, move into channels. The roaming playmaker on support has dribble more, shoot less often, move into channels. The wing backs on attack have take more risks, cross from byline, shoot less often. The ball playing defender has. Dribble more, shoot less often on both of them. Then the sweep keeper on attack doesn't have anything added. It's played with a positive mentality. Once again, you guys can go balanced or attacking depending on who you guys are playing against. And then once in possession, it is played fairly wide. Play out from the defense, work the ball into the box with low crosses. Extremely high tempo. In transition, counter press, counter, and roll the ball out to the right center back, I believe it is. And then once out of possession, there's a lot here. Use the offside trap, much higher line of engagement, higher defensive line. Use tighter marking, much more often trigger press. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution and get stuck in. Once again, if you guys are having troubles with the cards, feel free to take get stuck in off, put on stay on feet, or just take it off altogether. This is my type of tactic. It, it, it doesn't have a whole lot going on to where it is just an absurd amount of instructions. It's nice and simple and is very, very overpowered. Let's see how the clubs did in the competitions. So we tested with Liverpool, Brentford, and West Ham here in the Premier League with the Jurgen Klopp 4-3-3. Liverpool winning the league on 101 points. They were absolutely phenomenal. But Brentford... Finishing in second. Brentford finishing in second in the Premier League. That is absolutely unbelievable. West Ham with a top six finish. Finishing in sixth on 69 points. Very nice. And then Liverpool were runners up in the Champions League final. You guys will see who to in a moment. They won the FA Cup and they won the Carabao Cup. So they had a nice little treble. 
West Ham were the only other team out of these three to go deep in any competitions. And they went deep in the Europa League. They got knocked out in the semifinal to AC Milan. That is why AC Milan was able to win the Europa League final. But now let's see how many goals were scored by Liverpool within the league. All right, so Liverpool are absolutely crazy with this tactic. They scored 130 league goals. Very, very nice. Brentford scoring 79 equal with Man U and West Ham, they scored 66. So not as potent. I mean, they really only have one legitimate striker in Mikel Antonio. So that's kind of understandable. Uh, but I mean, if West Ham had someone like Dominic Calvert-Lewin, they probably had like 90 goals. Uh, but Liverpool scoring 130, absolutely absurd. Let's see what tactic takes the number one spot. All right, so here we are at number one. It is the Shaolin 4-3-3. This tactic is absolutely insane. This is one of the best tests I've ever seen with a tactic. I highly suggest everyone give this tactic a go just for the pure joy of scoring loads of goals, and you guys will see what I mean here in a moment. So we've got two advanced forwards on attack up top with nothing added. We got a pressing forward on support with nothing added as well. Two central midfielders on attack with take more risks, dribble more, shoot less often, move into channels, tackle harder, and mark tighter. An anchor, which I really, really like that role for a defensive mid on defend, with shoot less often, tackle harder, and mark tighter. Fullbacks on attack on either side with take more risks, dribble more, cut inside with ball, shoot less often, and tackle harder. Then you got a ball playing defender on cover with dribble less and tackle harder. And a ball playing defender on defend with dribble less and tackle harder. With a sweep keeper on attack with take fewer risks and tackle harder. Then it is played with an attacking mentality. You can put it on support or balanced if need be. Once in possession, play fairly wide, pass into space, underlap on the left and the right, play out of the defense, shoot on sight low crosses, shorter passing directness, extremely high tempo, run at the fence, and be more expressive. That is a lot of instructions right there, but well worth it once you guys see the results that we got. When in transition, counter press, counter, distribute quickly, and distribute the flanks. Once out of possession, much higher line of engagement, higher defensive line, much more often trigger press and prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Now let's see what makes this tactic so special in the competitions? So, we tested this tactic with Paris Saint-Germain, Olympic Marseille, and Stade Rene. They all finished 1-2-3 in the league, and they all did absolutely insane. PSG's goal difference, they did not lose a game. Their goal difference is 129. 129 goal difference. The next highest was Marseille, at 45. It is absolutely nuts what this tactic can do. You guys can see now that PSG won the Champions League and they are who beat Liverpool and they beat Liverpool 6 to 4. So this tactic can just straight out score, man. They were runners up though in the French Cup, they were runners up to Stade Rene. And then PSG also won the Trophy de Champions. Now let's see how many goals were scored in the league by these three teams? So, goal-wise, PSG scored 164 goals in the league. Just in the league. Just in Liga, They scored 164 goals. Olympic Marseille scored 96 and they finished second. Rene finished in third and they scored 91. So these three teams were just on a whole other level. The next highest after Rene is OGC Nisa, 81, so only a 10 difference there. But the difference between OGC Nice and PSG is almost 100 goals. It's absolutely absurd. As you guys can see over here on the left side, PSG had 1,036 shots. This tactic, the Shaolin, is absolutely absurd. So the Shaolin 4-3-3... Absolutely nuts, as you guys can see. Finishing in the top spot at number one gets my stamp of approval for being the best 4-3-3 out there currently. It is the best 4-3-3 I've ever tested. It is absolutely 
insane. Definitely give it a go. Give all these tactics a go. You guys can check them out over on F and Base. Link will be down in the description. So, with all that being said, that wraps up the top five 433 tactics so far within FM22. These tactics look absolutely insane. I highly suggest giving all five a go, especially the Shaolin and the Jurgen Klopp 433. Both are very, very good. But if you want goals galore, definitely give Shaolin a go. It's very, very good. All will be on the FM Base website on our tactics page. Link will be down in the description to access it. So make sure to give it a look. But yeah, that about wraps things up. If you guys did happen to enjoy today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. As subscribing is 100% free, so why not hit that sub button? And until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.